What's up guys, it's Brent back here, and back to the Play the Spire modded. So, we talked about some of the new characters we added last time we did the defect. We're not going to do the mime right now, we've done some of him, kind of want to try some of our new ones. Animator, I need to play first. We tried using some of her relics, uh, the missing piece, and it didn't really, uh, didn't really go very well. It didn't work, um, so I'm going to skip her for now and go to the Bug Knight. Uh, based off the video game Hollow Knight. Got this little cute boy here. I really want to try to turn around, but we actually won. Oh, uh, wait. We beat the first boss, so we should at least. Yeah. You, you gypped us, man. I hadn't played since then. Alright, I guess we'll go try to get a free elite. Because, yeah, we died on the second floor. Alright, so he has. Gain souls every time you play an attack card, except spells or ally cards. Um, sold a unique resource to the player can spin uh, with focus to activate certain spells. And there's three types: dash, ally, and spell. So these ones are attacks. That's these are. It's a skill, but it's also a dash. And so focus uh, three heal focus three. Uh, so you have to spend three souls. Heal six HP. Kills for two less each time it's used in combat. He's also on final use. Okay. So. Let's get some damage. Oh, he only has one hit point anyway. So I've seen him played before and I like him. I like the ally ones. I think they're cool. So lose all soul. Void. Get him out of void which increases the damage of void spells. By the amount. While you have void, you take more damage. And they get all souls and focus. So you kind of have to pick one or the other. And this one has infection. Lose all soul. Oh, you lose all of it. Lose all soul, void, and infection. Gain two temporary HP for each one lost. Then exhaust it. So it's like a, a pretty much a buff. At the start of your turn, if you have infection, gain block equal to three plus any dex. Lose one infection. And it gives you infection four. Infection deals... Blockable damage to you. Blockable damage to you and is reduced by two. Interesting. And this one's a void card. I think I'm going to try this one. I'm still, like, unsure on how all these things interact together. So we are going to uh, see how it goes. Alright. Uh, I don't see what the difference is. Oh, focus three. This one just removes and slows a heal. Yeah, I'll do that. It's fine. We can hear there are people. So I want to see what this does. Infection. So at the end of your turn, take four damage and reduce it by two. As you start your turn, if you have so I gain three block and take four damage, pretty much. It's kind of how this interaction works, and we can get more cards with infection in them. Okay. Discard your hand and gain four for each card discarded. No. Draw one card, exhaust. I think that's just good. Like, damage and draw a card. So, uh, we'll take the damage and gain the gold. Alright, let's... Now strike, simple focus. So we should play this and just heal. Just because we need to. And we will deal... Damage, discard a card, and draw a card. Okay. I'm trying to remember all my things I have. Seven damage to all enemies. Increase this damage by one... For the rest of combat, double dash. I think just defensive one. This is good because it's AOE. Yeah. What will this give us if we take it? If we take the double dash, we gain a void shard. I think I'd rather have the cyclone slash. A little bit of extra damage, especially since we might hit an AOE fight. What if I up this? It makes it zero? Okay. Uh, I'm game with that. If you have infection, we gain three block. Do I want to go to this first and then here? Yeah, I kind of like this path better. So I'll do one more question mark before we do it. Ooh, Slyer Co. stocks. So this would make going to the shop not good. I actually want to decline it this time. I think it's a little early to be uh, betting in the stock market. Okay, and if I had a way to upgrade them, they would have been better too to think about. Okay, so... We should do this. Soul meter went up, and we will wait. I think we want to get out. Yeah, our infection. 
Pogo Strike, uh, discard this. Yes. Nail Strike, Nail Strike, Nail Strike. And then we will keep our dash um, to draw the card because we have no energy, so it is kind of like useless to us. Okay. So I kind of just want to, like, punch him some more. Like, we're getting three Nail Strikes every turn, which is about the, the like, the max amount of damage we can do. Um... Do I want to take 15? Or do I want to draw the card? I don't have no more zero cost cards. I think I'll wait because I don't want to draw into our healing and not be able to play it. Yeah. So heal. Cyclone. Pogo. I guess Pogo Strike could have uh, could have done it for us to do more damage. Oh, we get Simple Focus back. That sucks. Not wasn't really the one we wanted. Cyclone Slash is still dealing more damage. Uh, nail Strikes. Deal that. Okay. So he's down to 30. Yeah, we're still gonna... Still kind of wanna... Alright, we'll draw the card this time. Cyclone Slash. Nail Strike. Block one. Okay. Focus. Strike. Strike. And then three. Okay. I was about to say, I shouldn't have played Focus if I meant I was gonna take more damage. During your turn, you are immune to damage. That's awesome with Infection. Because we, we won't take the infection damage. So now we know where we're going into. Yeah, anything with infection, apply two poison to random enemies two times. Anything with infection, this is the deck for it now. Um, I want to hit the shop. Because this is going to be fun. Preserved Insect. Uh, great Relic. Uh, elites have 25% less health. So we're kind of more inclined to go to Elites. Oh, another Glowing Womb would be great. Double check. Focus X, deal 9. Three more for each soul spent. Eh. Okay, so yeah, we want this one. For sure. When you die, heal one HP instead. While you have at least 10 HP. So you can't be like, oh, like, killed off right, I guess. Three damage to all enemies. Eh. Start combat with. Can go negative one, yeah. This would be good if you, w but it can go negative. So you need to win in like less than three turns. All right, glowing womb definitely. I think we'll remove. Mm, I guess a nail strike. Is kind of the idea. Because we're kind of yeah we're kind of going for, like a stack infection kind of kind of thing. Smith, does this give me more? Four for for three yeah. And then we want to get the Glowing Womb upgraded again. I'm not sure. There's a big cube on this. I'm not sure exactly what this does. All right. Cyclone. And then we'll just go ahead and block. Wait. Did we still take damage from that? I'm confused. I think we did. This might not work, which would be, which would be sad. All right. Glowing Womb. Simple Focus. Do that. Uh, drop the one of the quick dashes. We'll do this. Draw the card. Um, we've already blocked, so we'll do this. Yeah. The infection still doesn't do what we thought it would. Kill them. Which sucks, because I, I was so excited to, uh, to, uh, thought I had beat the system that way. And I guess it, it works before the end of combat, too. So we need to keep that in mind. As we deal, da deal the same damage to all other enemies. Interesting. This is this good. Tim block and two souls. Try that. Ah, I didn't even know I needed that one. I was getting it because it's a big block card. So it looks like we can block the infection. So that's something we want to keep in mind. So if I do this, 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 simple focus. Because they're not doing any damage yet. We took 11. Whew. Okay. All right, take 7 damage and reduce your infection by 2. So you take the max amount and then reduce it. Ugh. Okay. Cyclone. Do this. Draw a card. Good intentions. Let's try that. And then nail strike you. Alright. Took the damage. Take that. So we want to definitely want to block before we 
stack up the infection. And this could have just been a, a misplay on my part. An assumed interaction that does not work. Okay, discard this one. Do I want a simple focus and then quick dash, I guess? I still think we'll die. Let's try this. Quick dash, simple focus. Because we kind of need to heal back up some. But we're not dealing enough damage over, like, over the course of times. Like, I can good intention. Like, Cyclone Slash is kind of would be the best play. Good intentions would get us up to 10, plus the 6 we have. So this will at least give us another turn. Because we won't take damage here. And then something like Slyco Cyclone Slash will finish it. Uh, Pogo will finish you. Discard the slime. Nail strike here. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. And then, yeah, we'll take whatever was left of that. But we're not gaining our block like we should. I guess it's at the start of the turn. Hmm. Deal four damage. Apply four poison. Yeah, this isn't going to work anymore. Uh, but I'm still like, this is kind of the archetype we're going with. Like, I'd like to keep pushing through it. Good intention was just really good to have, though. And it stacks up souls. I think I'll take another one of these and hold for a second. We have another fight here. All right. So, yeah, we can't do these yet because it will super kill us. Uh, Cyclone Slash is a good one. Nail Strike and then... Hmm... Quick... No, nah, well, we don't need to block, though. That's the thing. So, doing this would be the best call, honestly. Or this one. But this one will take four, gain three block next turn. So, we'll be down to two. Yeah, I think we just hold. Because none of these sound very good. Okay. Simple focus. Three block. Let's go with good intentions. That should do good. We healed up a little bit. And we will continue with our life. Okay. Four damage. Discard one of these dashes. Okay. Cyclone slash. It's good. I can kill... I think using this is the best one to hope I, yeah, hit him with it. And then I nail strike you, and that's it. We'll take a little bit from that, but we still win the fight. Okay. Well, you have Void. I need a dash card. Eh, nope. Uh, probably too weak. Weak's good. But it's a two. I don't think I can afford that. I think I'm going to try going here and see. Ooh. Did not work in my favor. Um, yeah, we'll get a nail strike out. What does that do? Uh, that was soul shaman. Five focus, gain in energy. Interesting. Yeah. Bad move. Oh, it's the storyteller. Yeah, we definitely won't survive this. There's no way. Like, unless there's like an option to heal immediately, we will not make it through this. All right, continue. Yep, something. Pff, I guess heartless. Hope Cyclone Strike is like the the key here. Good intentions. I can't use Soul Shaman yet, so draw the card. I guess. Yeah, Cyclone Slash. That's that's what's gonna win us this fight if we win. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out because we'll take the five and it'll half again. Oh, go down by two. So we'll at least get be gaining the six block. Uh, I'll just disagree. Like, I can't take any negative effects like this. Um, Cyclone Slash, definitely. Um, heal six? Yes. And deal four to one of you. Discard this. Deal a nail. Ooh, Tainted Husk. No. Uh, it's not the time to play that. Like, I think I just have to be a little bit more liberal on the way I'm doing Like, using my infection. 50% chance. So we'll take the 12. Anger of the Mushrooms. Cyclone Strike will help with this. Do I have 5? I do have 5. Okay. Soul Shaman. Might as well use it. And then we can defend a bunch. And then hit this back line. We're still trying to kill this one back here. And we do have the Explosive Potion now that I'm looking at it. 
Oh, heal for 10. Yeah. Perfect. Just because towards the end, um, the problem with fighting her is towards the end, she just deals like straight up damage. Um, oh, Cyclone Slash. Yeah, there we go. Simple focus. Quick dash. Awesome. All right, so now we have the glowing wombs already set up. Um, add the dazes. That's fine. Could mess up one hand, but I'm not too worried about it. All right, so this will give us three infections, so we need a block for ten. I think we'll try that. And I put it all on her, unfortunately. Okay, five there. Nail strike you. So, yeah, we're going to take five. But that one, you're dead now. Um, I'm thinking slimes because it's one big target. So I have a bunch of little ones. Okay. I could do this. And then double intention. Yeah. I think this. Good intentions. Good intentions. And just kind of hold. Perfect. Ugh. I guess we'll take the bites. Like, the less, da less damage, you know, we're taking is better. And, yeah, you need to get, get hit. Block here. Um, block potion. Not a, not a better way to do it. The, the dazes did kind of hurt us a little bit there. Oh, hexed, I guess. Yeah, we're, we're struggling. You need to die. I think I'm going to try to kill you off. Okay. Um... Crap, I didn't get it. Explosion potion. Get those gone. Six. As long as her attack doesn't count, I will be fine. If it does, we die. Because his will go through. Yeah, take 13. Well, let's try 50% chance. Dead. That was kind of my fault, though. The way the wounds interact with... Uh, I mean, the infection interacted with the potato didn't work. As much as I wanted it to. Let's try it one more time. I haven't played this character a lot yet, so I wasn't sure how that combination worked. I'm still like, the infection, I'm still not really sure how it works. Okay, we actually got it this time. 100 gold, remove a card from your deck. Remove two cards for seven max HP. Uh, lose my starting relic? No. I think we'll just remove two cards and get both these two out. Make the deck a little bit more consistent for the better cards we have. Okay. I would love if this shop wasn't here, this would be my path to start with. But since it is, I think we'll go here and up. Give us a chance to get a couple more cards. Nail strike. You're doing six, we'll do that, and we'll also strike you. Just to keep them from uh having their curl up next turn. With the idea of killing them both this turn. And boop. And then simply focus. We'll get our one HP back. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be rotating through simply focus and pogo strike a little faster. This one felt good. Like uh, soul shaman. What's the upgrade? Oh, gain two energy? Yeah. I think so. Because, you know, it's like two free energy for just playing your strikes. Damage, drop one of these, and we'll play one of those. And then Soul Shaman. We're not quite there yet, but within like two turns, we could play it. All right, Simply Focus, Pogo Strike. I'll drop the dash, I think, and we'll do, yeah, Nail Strike, Nail Strike, Soul, oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we paid it for our, we need to upgrade our, our heal, because that's going to be using our, uh, our souls. Got it, got it. Three foot deal eighteen to all enemies. Ooh. Draw two cards exhaust. I think I want the eighteen to all enemies. Sounds really good. Oh, none of these are gonna be any Oh well, these are I think we'll go with the igneous rock. Molten egg, take an energy. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We can go to the shop there and actually remove that energy injury. An injury is not bad. Like, out of anything you can really get, it's not terrible. 
drop the injury. Dash, dash, uh, nail, strike. So you do have to remember it is uh, two and then three souls. That's one thing we got to keep in mind. But 18 AoE is a lot in the grand scheme of things. Um, we have three. Can we do two more? We cannot. So Soul Shaman right now is kind of a little cumbersome. We're not getting souls very quickly. Drop the injury again. Howl. And yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Oh, another one. But we need. We're kind of like him. 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 Marine. Him. I can't word. We're not getting souls fast enough. Was it him? Him. Him. Dring. Hammer. Hammerging. Hammerging. I think that's the word I want. We're not getting souls fast enough. You. You watch me. Uh. So this one, as good as it could be, I think it would be set dead. I think good intentions are going to be a little nicer to us. Soul Eater, whenever you play a, an attack card, generate one soul. Ooh, that could be good. I block, the void's not great. Apply two weak to a random enemy. No. Spire Strike costs one more for each act cleared. Equal to the number of floors. That's pretty cool. Can't get these. Okay, can I get this and this? No, I'll be a little short. I think this is better, though, than removing the injury. I think it's pretty good. Because, yeah, we, we need more souls as it like as it stands. So, does this reduce its cost? It does. We'll go with that. All right, now if we can get that in our opening hand, we would be much, much nicer. All right, Soul Eater. So now every attack we play, we should get two souls. Drop you right now. Yes. So technically I can do this. This. Shaman. Oh, it only gives us one right now. Crap. Okay. But it did give us... That should give us two souls back, though. Not sure how that worked. Alright, so I need three... I got three focus. 18 to you. Perfect. We'll take 10 here. Well, how much does this do? Three strength and two decks. Add a random curse. Oh, no. I'm fine with just waiting. Take the 10. Nail strike. Yeah. M feels much better. Devoid for the next two turns. The block of any dash card. Double the block. I mean, could be. It's just a skill, though. If it was a, if it was a, uh, a power, maybe? Like, it, it would be a little better. Skills feel a little, a little cumbersome, though. I think the shaman we want upgraded. Make it a little better here. Um, this seems like a fun path up that way. Gift box. Add a random rare, add a rare card to your deck. Focus. Souls. Spells cost one less soul. Okay. Spells generate one extra void. Interesting. Draw the card. Lose all of your current block. So that's pretty good. I think we're going with Soul Master though. Like. We're, we're doing a soul thing here. So, I'm happy to allow that. Innate, too. I mean, might as well, right? Don't see a problem with that. Upgrade two random cards. Yep. Nail Strike and, okay, Howling Wraths. Keep going up here. We might duck that elite, I'm thinking. Okay. Can we make you... How can we do this? We need to do Soul Eater... Hmm. Okay, we got the energy potion though. So the way I'd like to do the soul eater, nail strike, nail strike. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do it anyway. Yes, we will. Drink this. Do this. Soul shaman. That. Okay. So we got everything we want played. It's kind of a little bit of a waste of a speed potion if I'm all thinking about it now. All right, good intentions. And then we'll just strike them. Save up some souls. Because this one's three still? I thought it'd be two because of, because of this. Interesting. Spell, so you should be only two. So we have five. I only used one. Interesting. All right, uh, strike them. 
Drop the injury. Use this. Interesting. It's only taking. Is it two less? Uh, the amount of uh, soul leader. Whenever you play an attack, yeah. Cost soul cells cost one less. Huh. Confusing. All right, let's decimate them. Howling Wrath. Okay. Ooh, Monarchs win. Oh no, we already seen that one. Mm, if you do deal five damage. No, I think we're we're good. Okay, let's continue this way. I don't think we have enough to take the elite, especially not after this. Down to five. It's hopefully, okay. This should be this should be fine. I need three. Crap. I don't think I can get three. How how do I do? Oh man. So five. 8, 11, 16, 21 damage coming in. Good intention. We'll bring it down to 11. Still not enough, though. I need to be able to play this, and that would just win us the fight. But there's no way I can do that. The best I can do is get, was it, 3 soul, but then I'm out of energy. <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. So the way I'd play this, it'd be drink this, do good intentions, and then nail strike for 10 on you, and that would be the best turn I have. Take three, three, five. Oh, we do have one. I still don't think we'll make it past another turn, though. Poco strike for seven. Drop the hallucinations, definitely. Oh, wait. Soul Eater. Nail Strike and kill one of you. Focus. Okay. So we down to two. Actually, if we get Howling, we win. We got good intentions, which... We still can play that. Nine's not going to do it. We can block. Oh, we had Pogo Strike right there, too. And we did get through it, surprisingly. Uh, nope. Add a copy of the next play. Nope. Uh, none of these are really what we're looking for. Uh, do we, uh, we could get one where we upgrade a random card and rest. Okay, those curses didn't stay either. We just had the injury. Um, I think we'll just go for the straight rest. Still not very confident that we'll make it through this fight. All right. So, Soul Master. I think just Nail Strike and Pogo Strike. Technically, if I draw it, I should have not played the Nail Strike. I should have. Because Soul Eater would be so good. That's kind of one of the things we want. Yeah, we got to get past 32 or knock him down. Um, I don't think we can do either. So we shouldn't, if we can't beat, beat through his block, we shouldn't try. Do that. Ow. Down to five. Ah, pogo strike. Discard injury. Good intentions? No. We should focus up and just hit him. All right, we knocked him down. Down to 11. But we can heal up a little bit more. Soul eater. Nail strike. Ouch. Soul Shaman. Dash. Dash. Okay. Howling Wrath I wanted to get to, but there's no way. The problem is, like, yeah, he's doing 16 right there. I can do this, this, and focus up and hold our attacks. Because I need him to come out of there so I can punch him. A lot of our damage is based on being able to hit him. And then, uh... From that, get souls. Yeah, Howling Wrath. Quick dash, dead again. Character's hard. It's not very hard, it's just like managing your extra currency and stuff. It's just I've not played them enough. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for right now. We're going to wrap up here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.